Hello and welcome back. Um, I usually start off with an Angelina Jordan video and then I talk to the Angelina fans and let them know how I'm doing. But we're going to do it with the Danelia fans today. Um, Lindsay, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you so much. You Do you remember, um, you really broke down the Danelia Tide video. Um, it was like a month or two ago, but the music video is out. And it really, really, it's like... I don't want to like, you know, hype it up too much, but I really want to hear everything you want to say about this thing. Okay. I'm excited. Um, Lindsay, you, you're a podcaster. Uh, we'll put the, uh, the link in the description to your stuff and um, just let me know when you want to. Uh... Um, I'm Go for it. Yeah. Nervous, buddy. It's okay. Nervous. Here we go. Nervous. 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 Uh, my name is Danielle. I'm where you from? I'm from Kazakhstan. Wow. I'm with my mom. Yeah. <laughs> so that's her uh, on America's Got Talent, you know, as a kid, and, you know, the lights going out and stuff. How do you? Right. I'm 13. I've never seen a penis. I don't know. it's it's everything i thought it well no I, let me not say it's everything i thought it would be from my breakdown last time i remember feeling like uh there was it was much more than a song it was more her trying to express how she was feeling in her current state and with the with the pressures that come with being in entertainment and i love the visual symbolism here that she has like she looks gorgeous right now she's beautiful but she doesn't really look happy and she's physically tied up she can't even move like she's about to fall um yeah so far i i think it's on point she's got a really blank uh stare um yeah. when you look at her it looks like um she's about to fall but um i gotta point out that the uh this is the best directed uh music video she's ever been a part of so her new team go new team like nice like, well all... i think the song deserved it absolutely absolutely uh, but the, I mean, all the shots, the the freaking light coming in, I think that's symbolism too. So yeah, uh, I think she's gonna do a little bridge and then the hook. Okay. What do you think these the dark things are here? Her whole environment. It seems like her world is dark the only light that is shining is like from behind her so it's like there's a glimmer of hope in a sense but right now she's at like a what looks like a meeting for business yes and she's in this blue dress this little you know pretty princess just be quiet just smile let's sign the papers and yeah I, when, when they fade out check if you see them as like people uh that of course don't show their face because they're behind the scenes yeah yeah my hands will forever be to a person I don't recognize. I'm sorry to cut it so much, but what do you think? Why is the t why is the uh the TV showing her as a young girl and then that the TV's tied? Now I didn't I didn't notice the TV was tied before. Well, I think it's it's what she's saying in the song is, I'm forever tied to a person I don't recognize. I mean, when we grow up, most of us don't want to be remembered our, as ourselves when we're 13. A lot of us are probably embarrassed by it. I know I am. I don't want to show my eighth grade fucking pictures. Um, but it looks like that's what she's tied to. That's where her fame came from. That's what she was first re like recognized and appreciated for. And it seems like that's what is going to, that, that that's what she has to hold on to. Um, is an image, is a superficial celebrity Hollywood glammed up image nothing about her personally nothing about her her dreams now that she's grown up nothing about who she's become it's all about what she was then
favorite uh shots of her uh right here oh she's gorgeous she looks great in all of them but yeah this one is really pretty that warm kind of tone on her you know what else i'm noticing is this these images at least not yet they're not taking place in a studio it's not taking place on stage it's almost like this is how you all first got to know me was through your living room oh and this is where i'm gonna stay great point yeah i never got that Thank you. Until they need a show The strains keep it quiet We could dance so they don't fight out My hands will forever be tied To I don't I can't get out oh, Wow, she's just... She's I literally can... stuck there and tied to it She cannot get out it's tied around her chest her everything and she had a little bit of control when it said by hands over every, every tied she wasn't it looked like the hands weren't tied up at that she had a uh, little control but then she was tied again so you know it's like right. she's fighting i don't know for a little control of herself in her career and then boom they take it back yeah See, now you can kind of see that they are like higher up crazy business, you know, executives. She's got like flawless skin. <laughs> she like, is perfect. perfect. <laughs> like it's, yeah, it's amazing how gorgeous she is. She's really a smart, uh, nice, nice girl too. Like, yeah, she deserves to be happy. I agree. Set me free, who am I to call, who am I at all? Oh, that part's the saddest. Because she's kind of like saying, like, not only am I tied to, you know, this past vision of myself, but what do I do without you guys? The people that are trapping me, the people that are tying me up, what am I supposed to do after this? Who am I going to call? Do I have anybody else? Do I, can I even make something? Am I going to fall? Am I going to be able to do something on my own? Am I going to, I mean, that's just, it's like almost like her mind is tied up in it too. It's kind of, God, it's depressing, but it's a really beautiful, that was a great video. And I think you did a really good job of, of it, like giving you a visual of what she's feeling. And the song to me is just heartbreaking. I can't imagine how many people in this industry feel that way. What did she mean by if, if they cut the cord or if I cut the cord, I might just fall, what cord? I feel like the cord that's attaching her to what is, uh, kind of excelling her and, and pushing her forward in this industry. Because what it sounds like to me is she's saying that she's tied to this image of being this cute young singer who was successful on The Voice or whatever that was, America's Got Talent. Um, and if you cut the cord, she might just fall right out of publicity. She might just fall from all that she's worked for. She might literally fall out of, out of everybody's minds, you know, out of sight, out of mind. This industry is all about exposure and promotion. And if you take a break, if you cut ties with the people that are doing that for you, are you gonna be able to maintain your presence? That's what I get from it. And then she says, if uh, if you set me free, who am I to call? Who am I to call? Who am I at? Right. Like, right. Am I, am I even anything if I don't exist in your screens? I, and you're, I you're, know who I want to be because, like, you told me who I need to be. Right. Yes. Right. Am I even going to be, am I even, am I even here anymore? I mean, and that's just, that's so sad when you think about these child actors, these people who, you know, like like uh, Urkel, 
who only played that role or uh, Shirley Temple, who was only ever seen as this little girl. Like what happened to her when she was a teenager, when she was an adult woman? Nobody knows, nobody cares. Even if she did, do, I think she did do a couple films, but nobody wants that. No. So are you even here anymore? And there, I mean, in their minds, am I even, or like these Olympians who once they get 10 gold medals after that, it's the next four years. And you know what I mean? What are you striving for? What do you have to gain? What do you have to achieve after that? Um, and in her case, you know, it's not like she's reached the top, but she definitely has the talent to, um, I think. I and and if she's making progress, if she's actually making um, some improvements and, and, and rising up a little bit, who is she if she stops doing that? Who is she if she stops dealing with these people who are insisting she remain with this little girl image? This, this you know, she's not going to be 13 forever. She's not 13 anymore. How old is she now? 17? Yeah. 19? 17, 17. Of oh, 17. Oh, okay. I was going to say, because time, time for whatever reason, when I'm watching something on TV, you know, we don't think about them aging, but by the time like some movie comes out, it's been two years already. So you're, the actor's already two years older. Oh, yeah. And then by the they time they really pick up before. some speed, they're at least, yeah. So for us, when we see them all grown up, we're like, what the fuck? We're... Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It seems to go it's gotta be hard for to... us. Well, we don't know how fast it goes for them, but I mean, for us, you know, because she puts out a, you know, a song and, you know, we might not, uh, you know, react to her for like two or three months and then she puts out another one and, you know, it's just. Right. Well, for me, I, I didn't know about this girl until I came on your channel. And the first time I saw her, she was 13. Now I'm seeing this thing of her fast forward four years later. It's a whole different person who is being told and being promoted and being um, tied right. to four years ago. Um so in two more years, if somebody's never heard of her, they're kind of like, well, it's, it's, God, ah, the pressures to maintain youth. And if only we could find that fountain, if only these, you know what I mean? They'll get and surgery. The they'll right do track. anything to. I mean, it's hard to stay on the right track for, for these young, uh, young yeah. but, you know, talking to her, I really think she has a great head on her shoulder. You know, she actually wants to go to Harvard and be a lawyer. I mean, and she could, she could do whatever she wants. She seems like somebody who. Once she finds her direction, she could, I mean, I don't know the girl from Adam, but I see not only, cause that song in particular, although I love it, it doesn't necessarily show her vocal ability. No, it's not a it real range driven, but it's it shows her ability to, to relate and to um, project what it is she's feeling through this. It's almost like acting in a sense, like, and those are two pretty hard things to do in one performer. You know, a lot of people who act can't sing, a lot of people who sing can't act. And it seems like she's able to kind of, do both and if you ask me although that's not exactly some book intelligence it is very hard for people to communicate their feelings wouldn't you say a lot of our relationships suffer because we can't freaking talk to each other or or accurately express what it is we're feeling and again i don't know this girl but i i mean the first time i heard the song i think i kind of nailed it because she was so good at inflections in her voice the tone the song it was all really easy to understand at least for someone who's paying attention i i think she could she's got potential to Whatever she wants to do, she'll nail it. If there was one knock on her and uh, before, it was that she would um, vocally just kill every song, but she wasn't doing what you were saying, where, you know, emoting the emotion of the song. And I'm sure it's uh, easier to do with originals that she had a part in writing, you know? Sure. But still, I, I, I feel like this is the biggest drive she ever made, and I was worried that she was not in the right hands, and now I feel like she is. Yeah, I think I think the development you see in her between those four years is is obvious, and it's 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 not like a regression. I think it's definitely a really good push forward for her in terms of just becoming a well rounded artist. Yeah, well, uh, we look forward to more and more and more. So uh, let us know uh, what we should show Lindsay next because she's got a lot of covers, you guys. Um, a lot of ones that I love, and I think like maybe five to 10 of them are better than the original artist. Um, so let us know what you want us to show Lindsay and um, Lindsay shall return. Bye. Uh, we'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen.